I didn't think it was going to be very good. I actually thought that it was going to suck, but it's not that bad. Hey movie watchers, welcome to today's review of the new Netflix series The Order, starring Jake Manley, Sarah Gray, Adam DeMarco, Katherine Isabel, Max Martini, and I don't feel like listing everybody, so pictures. If you're new to this channel, I like to talk about my likes, my dislikes, and then give you the breakdown. All my reviews have spoilers in them, so this is your one and only warning. Okay, movie watchers, let's review. So the series starts off way better than I actually expected. I was kind of expecting some sort of rudimentary teenager flick uh, about a secret social club that like practices magic and takes things too far and things get out of hand and all this kind of other nonsense. But there is actually a real story here with some real interesting things going on. Basically, Jack Morton and his grandfather Pops have a plan to get Jack recruited into the order to take down Edward Coventry. All because Jack's mom committed suicide because I think she was in love with Edward, but Edward abandoned her. Jack also ends up becoming a werewolf, which I actually didn't see coming and I thought was a good addition to the story. He really figures out how to embrace his new lycanthropy, but still wants to bring down Edward Coventry and the Order. But he is also falling in love with Alyssa Drake, who is very committed to the Order and is very committed to developing her own magical skill set. Edward is basically just power hungry and will stop at nothing to become the most powerful person in the world. Jack, Alyssa, and the gang fumble through a plan that actually ends up working and traps Edward inside the book. So the world is safe for now. Starting with my likes, like number one, the first thing that I noticed I liked about the movie was actually the witty and humorous dialogue. The series is written for an adult audience. I expected a younger kind of teenager type audience, but it is written for an adult audience and is way funnier than I actually expected it to be. There were lots of little nuggets of like great and witty and well-timed humor all throughout the series. I think Randall is actually freaking hilarious and his whole role alone made the series really fun for me. Like number two, I also really enjoyed the exploration of the subplots. The main plot line is pretty simple and basic, I think, uh, and not really that enticing. I mean, the main plot's just basically a revenge story. But all of the little subplots were very entertaining, and I actually really enjoyed the exploration of these storylines. The Order's recruits being hunted down by creatures in the night. Jack becoming a werewolf, and how all of this unfolds was surprising to me, and brought a nice element to the series. I mean, he was tricked into running into the basement of a house in the woods, and then Silverback, which is the name of the hide, basically chose him to be the champion. There's also how Alyssa gets pulled into Edward's manipulation and schemes to become the most powerful person in the world. We have Lilith's character, who was actually once a member of the Order that she hates so much. Uh, turns out she's quite good at it, too. I don't want to give all the subplots away, so I'll stop there. But there's a lot more of them, and they did a really good job with kind of intertwining these subplots with the main story. And I actually think that they're better than the main story anyway. Like number three, I really enjoyed the complexity and the overall dynamics of the characters. Every character brought their own strengths and their own weaknesses to the story, which I found to be one of the best elements of season one. Nobody in this series was only strong and powerful without weaknesses and challenges to overcome. And likewise, nobody was weak and helpless without any kind of talent or skills that were beneficial in some way. This can be a hard thing to do in writing, especially when you have a cast this big. Every character had good and bad things about them, which really just deepens the story for me. Moving on to my dislikes, dislike number one, I felt like they left out some important backstory with some critical elements of the series. The series starts off with Jack and his grandfather planning a hostile takeover of the Order, but they only give us little tiny bits of the backstory here. Jack's mom killed herself because of Edward, and that's basically it there isn't really a whole lot to it also you have the werewolf backstory we learn that the hide has to choose the person and that the hide and the person aren't exactly one in the same which is kind of new and interesting and we learn that the overall role of the werewolves or the knights of saint christopher is to hunt down people of the order who are practicing dark magic but in my opinion there is so much more to be explored here go deeper into the lore of the Knights of St. Christopher and the werewolves 
And while we're there, let's dive into the lore of the Order. I mean, where did they all come from and how did they get started? I just feel like they could have gone deeper into these backstories and really developed the history and the foundation of some of these elements in the series. I will be hoping that they do this for season two. Dislike number two, I felt the last three episodes of the series was really rushed. The pace was great in the series in the first six or seven episodes. I'm not sure if they originally planned a third 13 episode season, but based on what I saw, I think it should have been. Edward Coventry has been trying to get this book together for years, and in the last three episodes, he gets it together lickety split. He then unleashes Sawyer's character, who was the last person to do this, and he was the last person to kind of become one with the book. And then his character is killed off in a matter of minutes. This is a huge thing that just happened. And it's basically over and done with like it was meaningless. Then there's the final page of the book that's actually written on the skin of Silverback's hide. But in two minutes, Edward somehow figures it out and transports Lilith's character and the hide into his temple and completes the book just like that. This was, again, another huge moment that really could have been tied together to become something meaningful, but instead it just seems basically meaningless. Movie watcher question. What are you hoping to see in season two? I'm hoping to see more of the lore behind both the werewolves and the order. I also just want to see more werewolf stuff in general. I don't know why I liked the werewolf part of this movie series. Okay, movie watchers, here's the breakdown. I'm giving the writing a 7 out of 10. They did explain most things, and they had good ideas for them. But some things went unexplained, and I was kind of waiting the whole time for them to be revealed in the story, but never got it. The acting is getting a 6 out of 10. I felt like everyone did a decent job overall, but the roles didn't seem like they were that difficult, and I don't feel any serious acting talent was required for this series. But I did like Randall, Hamish, and Lilith. They were actually my favorite characters in the story. The cinematography is also getting a 6 out of 10. You can tell that they avoided scenes with any real complexity or anything that would require some high quality CGI. In saying that, they did do a good job of hiding from those scenes because honestly, they could have gone all like sci-fi channel on us and I'm really glad they didn't do that. I'm giving the directing a 7 out of 10 as the story seems pretty complex and has a lot of elements to it that all kind of have to be tied in together. Overall, I think the directors did a pretty decent job here, uh, but I will be expecting more from them in season two. Overall, the Netflix series The Order is getting a six and a half from me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got more reviews and discussions coming your way, so check back soon for those, and I'll see you on the next one.